This video is being produced by the League for the Blind and Disabled, a center for independent living serving Northeast Indiana. Today our focus is heart healthy living, and if you have a vision loss or blindness, you can still be heart healthy and monitor all your statistics with talking equipment. So today your instructors are Laura Lindsay, Independent Living Skills Coordinator, and myself, uh, Linda Scribner, Senior Blind Services Coordinator. And we're going to show you a talking blood pressure cuff. And Laura is going to put it on me, which I could normally do myself, but I'm supposed to be quiet <laughs> and at rest. Okay. So um, when we put this on, it's a wrist cuff rather than an arm cuff because it's meant for you to be able to do on your own um, to self-monitor. So you would just put it on your wrist like a bracelet. You want to put it facing up. And then you also want it to be a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. So you can use a finger to measure from where your hand ends, where your palm ends, to where you put the cuff. And you want it to be at heart level. Linda's sitting down. And they designed the carrying case for this to have like a little, um, like a cradle, mm -hmm. so she can rest her hand there. And then Linda would be able to operate on her own, hitting the power button and then hitting the start button to start pumping it with air. Hit it again. And there it goes, filling up. Now we've noticed it doesn't get as tight as an arm cuff at the doctor's office, but it still takes an accurate measurement of what your blood pressure is. And it does display the numbers as well, but um, once it gets your, your blood pressure and your pulse, it will announce it. Your measurement data is systolic pressure 144, normal high, diastolic pressure 76, normal, pulse rate 65. Well, Laura, I seem to be relatively your normal. There's a first. <laughs> and then it repeats that for you. Okay, and then I'm going to power it off. And that's all there is to that. It will store it in there. So you could, like, give it to your doctor later so that they could have a record. Or it'll um, just repeat it if you're recording it somehow um, on a chart to be able to, to have that available to you. Um, the other item that we were showing today is a talking pedometer. For people that are walking, this is just one kind that's out there. Um, there are several kind out now. There are some that are run by GPS, some that you would wear on your shoe rather than on your waist. This is one that would go on your belt loop and it would stay perpendicular. And then as you step, we're going to fake step here, it would track each step that you take so that you would know you're getting um, the recommended amount of steps in for the day. And then it's got a little talk button, so it would tell you how far you're walking, so you could track it. You that. have walked 41 steps. So, and that, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, other items out there, as Linda mentioned, are scales. Um, a lot of talking um, monitors, such as... Talking um, glucometer. Glucometers. For people who have diabetes who need to measure their sugar, and they all work pretty well. So, you know, just know that the equipment is out there, and if you need to know where to find it, you can call the League for the Blind and Disabled at 1 800 889 3443 or reach us on the web at, at the.league.org. Um, and that's how you would find us. Please I, let us know if you need some of these items. I think it's the-league.org. Oh, that is the Oh, league. gosh, and I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's okay. Uh, so happy <laughs> Valentine's Day and be heart healthy. Yay. <laughs>